less frequently or very, you know, because of the feed path that we uh, are using now with the uh, scanner. And then again, Jim got the same ballot too short, please remove ballot. So. Let's try it the other way. Other questions? Well, we can, oh, yeah. So right. Another one on that other printer. I'm not the tech guy. So yeah. because it's hard, so if we use it with our in-house laptops, you couldn't then network that and have like two computers printing to one and have to be a one-to-one -one ratio of printer to computer? To, to this printer? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it'd be one-to-one. One-to-one. One. Yeah. And I'll, I'll print a card here with the barcode just to pass around to you. <laughs> Yeah, it's not a network device. We have had, I have a customer in Illinois that uh, used an AV switch to share it between two pole books, mm -hmm. um, but it's not a network printer. Yep. Any other? Well, at this point, there's nothing else. I think uh, they want to at least open it up. You know, any other questions, or if you guys do want to come up and try any, uh, vote anything. As I mentioned, the afternoon session we're going to focus. So I think we're going to start with the 850 and the enhancements. We we'll go there. Obviously, get into the uh, electionware software in the back end when it comes to adjudication, uh, write and review, any enhancements that. Uh, uh, we've done in the 6020 version from your current version, and then we'll talk talk about um, Bellatar and what that can do. So you're going to let everybody come up and touch them now? Sure. Yeah. Thanks, guys, for, so after you want to come up and, like, you know, just vote for yourself or, you know, talk to guys from ESNS, but thank you so much for the support for the portion. Um, BOE staff, we're going to probably come